Hey guys, it's Sonia with Junk Monkey Paint Company. How are you guys doing today? Welcome back to my daily creative vlog. I am so happy that you are here and watching and I hope that your week is shaping up to be a great one and today has been awesome as well. I feel like for me, it's been one of those days where um, I feel like I got a lot done. Do you ever just like, I don't know, somehow tackle some big things, get through them, get on the other side and just feel good like, yeah. I did it. So I'm just taking a quick break right here. It's about probably mid-afternoon right now. And I thought I'd pop in with a little bit of daily inspiration like I usually do. Plus, I've got something fun to share with you, okay? So true story. I've been getting very weird things arriving at my door. Can't say I've ever seen these things before, so stay tuned for that. But first, I want to give you some inspiration today when it comes to blending. This is a question that I get a lot about blending paint and just doing those really cool blended paint looks. Can you do it? This is my easy way how I do a blend. Very simple. This is one done with only two Junk Monkey paint colors. I think it was, yeah, I Love You More and Antique Lace. You can pick out whatever colors you want to do it in. Obviously, you just need a dark and you need a lighter color. And that is pretty much it. Just follow this technique. I should add that this is a very, very popular look. And the very first day that I put this little piece out for sale, it sold within like the first hour of it being actually available for sale at my storefront. So if you're flipping for profit, you may wanna try this blend look as well. And I will tell you that when I filmed this tutorial, I think we had it done in like something like, I don't know, was it 22 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I'll see you on the other side with my box of weirdness <laughs> and uh, catch up with you, um, yeah, about this transformation. I will find a place for us. I will show you where to go. distressed and so one of the tricks that I did you saw how 
um, the parts that made up that little chest, I darkened the edges. And that's what I like to do to get a really antique look. So on top of doing the blend look, you can do it two ways. You can put a little bit of, for example, candy bar brown on your brush just a little bit and honestly shake and shimmy it off in the crevices and in the creases and just like leave it in there just a little bit, not too much. The other way to do it is if you have a jar of our brown antiquing glaze, it's very, very light. So you can actually take a brush dab it right in, just brush it right into the crevices and then go ahead and dampen a piece of cheesecloth and then wipe them out and just a little bit of residue, a little bit of remainder will stay in there and it just makes that piece pop. I can still remember the lady who bought it. She was in love with it when she saw it. So I'm ready to show you the weird stuff that arrived at my door. This is what Mattis had sent to our address and I'm like, what is this stuff? Okay, let's just start with this right here. I figured I'd share with you guys this on today's vlog because you might get a giggle, I might get a laugh, and you might even get a, ooh, that's so gross. I had to share it with my friends. All right, so this is what Matt has shipped to the house. Have you ever seen this before? Are you looking down here? Do you even know what that is? That's sweet potato, sweet potato, Kit Kat. Have you ever heard of sweet potato Kit Kat bars? All right, and then we've got chestnut Kit Kat. Never ever saw these before. Matt's working on a project, so a side project. So stay tuned, you'll hear all about it. He is not here today, otherwise I'd be like, come tell us all about it, Matt. So stay tuned so we can figure out what the heck he's doing with these. I have no idea because I can't even read English on this package. What is that? Anybody's best guess as to what kind of, I'm guessing that's a sweet. Yeah, because it's Kit Kat, but I have no idea. Sausage and cheese. Who the heck knows? Okay, and if that's not weird enough, how about this one? Grape Kit Kat. Oh my gosh, melon and mascarpone cheese Kit Kat. What? Um, okay, a melon and a Kit Kat. Do you even think that they should go together? And how about this one? This one is a peach Kit Kat, a peach Kit Kat. Okay, if I, so if we were in a room and I said, do you want the peach? Do you want the melon or do you want the grape? Which one are you picking? Oh my gosh. This is what I call the spice of life. And don't you just love the variety, the color in life? Yeah, there's a sock for every foot. Thank you guys for joining me on my daily vlog. I hope I put a smile on your face and you got some inspiration today. You guys know I'll be back again tomorrow. Join me 8 a.m. live every morning over coffee if you wanna do that on my second channel. It's linked down below. If not, I'll see you over on Facebook. I don't know, I'll see you somewhere, but I'll definitely see you here on YouTube again tomorrow. Take care, my friends, and end the week well. See you tomorrow.